Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Tazdagli Daughters of the Wind Calico Cigar. This is a cigar from a brand that I know virtually nothing about, but I bought this cigar, or I selected this cigar, I should say, purely because uh, I like the way it looks. It's just a gorgeous looking cigar. Let's be honest, we buy with our eyes first, and that's what I did. That's what I did with this cigar. It's a beautiful looking cigar with this golden green band with a horse in the front. It's got a closed foot. And that is an interesting feature for me because Cuban cigars, as far as I know, don't have closed foot, which, uh, like I said, it's an interesting feature for me. And um, I wanted to see what that was all about. Obviously, that does mean that I can't do my normal method of lighting cigars, which is to light before I cut. So I am going to have to uh, cut this and then light by drawing on the flame. That's what I've been told to do with a closed foot. But as I mentioned, I don't know anything about Kazdagli as a brand. Um, I kept it that way intentionally because I wanted to perform a unfiltered and kind of like a raw review of this cigar. I don't know anything about the cigar. I don't know what the wrapper leaf is, the binder or the filler is. I don't know what the, where the tobacco is from. And I don't know where Kazdagli produces cigars. I just picked this because it looks good and I wanted to uh, review it. Um, obviously, I know what the size is. This is a six and one eighth of an inch long cigar with a ring gauge of 52. So it's a healthy size, similar size to the Monte Cristo number two. But other than that, other than its appearance, I know nothing about it. So uh, let's get into this review and uh, see what this cigar is all about. first few puffs on this cigar first of all just want to say i do not like drawing on the flame with the cigar first few puffs just turn a little bit harsh not a fan however work through that draw on this perfect good firm resistance i thought that it was going to open up once the uh, closed foot has been burnt away but it didn't still good firm draw burn is decent like uh, i'm still going to smoke my way through it because <clears throat> I might have lit it wrong because I don't know how to light when I'm drawing on the flame. So um, I'm not going to talk too much about the burn just yet. But the ash is gorgeous. It's a white ash. And the reason for that is because this cigar is full of flavors. Ridiculously bold, heavy, saturated flavor notes. Straight away, heavy on the peanut flavor. Heavy on the nutty flavor. It's like a salty, nutty, uh, salty, nutty flavor. And the texture is like really oily very oily texture like covered my mouth completely soaked through uh it's got this really deep oily texture to it and i love that i love that aftertaste is heavy on the spice and the pepper and i like spicy cigars so that works for me and this this is an excellent start to a cigar Coming to the uh, halfway point on this cigar and the flavor notes have definitely changed. So that nutty flavor, that peanutty flavor that I was getting at the beginning, that's gone now. And um, what I'm getting now is more of like a, a savory, peppery, woody flavor from this cigar. Still got that oily texture, but that oily texture isn't working in my opinion isn't working quite as well with these flavor notes as it did at the beginning of the cigar. I think that the beginning of the cigar was just sublime it was excellent i was really enjoying that transitions was the transition was very smooth really easy transition nothing abrupt nothing sudden but the flavor notes like that woody flavor with the rest of the notes just not quite working for me but um it's not bad by any means like i'm still enjoying it i was just enjoying the beginning part of this cigar a lot more also I don't, I mean, this is an unfair comment on the uh, on the construction because I've smoked other, others of this, you know, I've smoked more of this cigar. This isn't the only one I've smoked, but um, others were fine. This one, it's just got a bit of a crack coming up and that crack is getting a little bit worse. So I'm gonna have to keep the band on uh, till like the final section, I think, just to make sure that uh, that crack doesn't make the cigar explode. So that a little bit annoying but that's not a comment against this cigar in general that's just a comment about this particular cigar maybe uh, maybe there was a crack in there I, I don't know i mean when i when i um, when i slipped the band when i when i moved the band on the cigar it did cause a little bit of damage so maybe that's what's caused the crack so um, yeah that's a little bit of a pain 
However, flavor notes are still enjoyable, just, mm, just not quite as good as it was at the beginning. In terms of strength, like this has no, virtually no strength at all. Like I'm not feeling any strength in this cigar whatsoever. Um, it's relaxing to smoke this cigar. I'm enjoying the vibe, but uh, it doesn't have like any heavy strength or anything like that. So yeah, it's, it's comfortable. It's a comfortable smoke, comfortable smoke. Flavors are nice. Beginning was great. Middle part could be better, but uh, still enjoying it. Coming to the final section of this cigar and uh, the transition has been really nice on the final third. The flavors have just become a little bit bolder. Those woody notes turned into like an oaky, slightly fruitier flavor and it's been working extremely well. This final third, exceptional. Midway point, bit of a dip there. It wasn't bad, it was just the flavor notes weren't really working for me, but then it's, it's just brought this back extremely well. I mean, this cigar, I have to say, it's a very good cigar and uh, one that's uh, pleasantly surprised me I'm, I definitely need to smoke more of these because these are these are great and considering the price I mean price wise these are like ridiculously inexpensive so in the UK they are a Havana house exclusive so you can only purchase them from Havana house and um, I think they're like 18 19 pounds for a cigar of this size which is quite remarkable considering that it's actually a lovely cigar like this is a really enjoyable smoke yeah I mean <laughs> it's ridiculous how inexpensive it is so this is one I would recommend give it a try buy a few singles give it a try see what you think of it um, I'm sure there are people out there I'm sure some of you have uh, probably uh, smoked several of these already so I'd love to know what you guys think as well but this yeah um, I'm definitely going to give this one a thumbs up. This is a lovely, lovely cigar. Beautiful in terms of presentation, the band, the uh, closed foot, and uh, the wrapper leaf and everything. It just looks so nice. And then when you smoke it, it's an excellent smoke. Um, I do feel really relaxed. Like, I feel just really chilled out smoking this cigar. But there's no strength to it. Like, it, the strength isn't, like... It's not making me feel like, oh my God, I'm smoking a cigar. It's just making me feel like, ah, oh, I'm enjoying this. It's like an easy evening cigar, nothing over the top, nothing too heavy. Flavors are really nice. Construction has been decent. I think um, there was a little bit of damage on this cigar and that I kind of had to nurse it back together a little bit, you know, keeping the band on the cigar as long as I could. But other than that, yeah, this is excellent. I am so pleased to have picked this one. This is, uh, definitely one of the ones that i would uh I, I would i definitely recommend this one so yeah that's the uh review on the kazdagli daughters of the wind calico cigar An excellent smoke you should definitely try some anyway just want to say thank you so much for watching my video if you like this video hit the like button subscribe share this video and i hope to see you all in the next one thank you